Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. The Hollywood sign is one of the most famous billboard signs in the world. I'm going to show you how to realistically replace the word Hollywood with your name or someone else's name. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. I provided a link to this photo in the description area. Press the letter Z to call up your magnifier tool and will magnify up a letter. The first step is to recreate the supporting structures that hold up each letter. Call up your pencil tool and for this image I'm choosing a size of 2 pixels. To open your brush presets window press the brush icon or press F5. Make sure no boxes are checked but smoothing is OK. Go to a corner of the structure and with shift held down drag your cursor across to make your next line release your mouse or pen hold shift again and drag down go to the top left and repeat press Q to make your quick mask into a selection press control shift I or command shift I on a Mac to invert the selection let's save it go to select save selection and we'll name it frame click the new layer icon and making sure black is your foreground color, press Alt or Option and Delete to fill this selection with black. Press Control or Command D to get rid of the selection. Click on the new layer icon to make a new layer and draw out the remainder of the supporting beams. Press Q to make the quick mask into a selection and then press Control shift i or Command shift i to invert it. Click the foreground color and then click on a supporting beam to pick up its color. To fill the selection with this color press Alt or Option and Delete. Click on the layer under it which is the black frame and then click on the new layer icon. Press Control or Command as you click on the black frame to call up its selection then press Alt or Option and Delete to fill that selection with the foreground color. We don't need the layer with the black frame anymore so we'll trash it. Click on the FX icon and choose Bevel and Emboss. The style is inner bevel, the technique is smooth, the depth is 100%, the size will be 0 pixels and we'll soften it by 3 pixels. Press Alt or Option as you click on the effects to duplicate it, then drag it up onto the other part of the frame. Press Shift as you click on the other part of the frame, and then click on the icon in the upper right, and choose Convert to Smart Object. This merges the two parts of the frame together into a smart object. Let's rename this Frame. We'll hide the frame and make the base active. Press Control or Command J to make a copy of it. To see the entire document on our screen, press Control or Command Zero. We're ready to add our own text. Call up your type tool and then click on the character text box. I found a font called SF Hollywood Hills Bold that you can download for free at SoStars.com. Click on the color box and then click on a letter of the Hollywood sign to pick up its color. Click OK in the text color window. Click on your document and type out your words. To reposition it, click on your move tool or press the letter V. Click on a letter and move the word into position. We're ready to remove the Hollywood sign from the hill. Hide the text and make the base copy active. Normally I'd use CS5's content to wear fill feature to remove something from a photo and replace it with its surroundings but I want to ensure that the topography remain as close to the actual hill as possible so I'm going to use the clone stamp tool to achieve this. I'll choose my clone stamp tool and clone areas of the hill over the Hollywood sign until it's all gone. Let's reduce its opacity so we can see the sign on the original base for reference. Make your text visible and active. Press T to call up your type tool and then highlight the first letter of your text. 
Increase or decrease the numbers of the baseline to shift the letter up or down to follow the contours of the hill. Continue to shift the baseline of each letter until your entire text hugs the hill. In the Layers panel, make the frame visible and active. Each letter of your text needs the frame behind it, so we're going to duplicate the frame, the number of letters of your text. Press Ctrl or Command J for each copy you need. Press Shift to highlight all the frames and then drag them into the new group folder. Let's retitle this frame. We'll open the folder and click on the bottom frame to make it active. Press V to call up your move tool, click on the structure and move it over your first letter. We'll rename this frame B. Click on your next frame and move it to the next letter. We'll rename this layer L. Continue moving frames over the remaining letters. We need to adjust the width of each frame to match the width of their respective letters. Starting with the first letter, press Ctrl or Command T to call up your transform tool and adjust and move the transform over your first letter. To lock it in, press Enter or Return. Continue to use your transform tool to adjust and move each frame. When you're done, close the folder. Go to your text, right-click it, and choose Rasterize Type. Go to your frame folder, press Shift, and click on it. The frame folder and your text are both active. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up your transform tool. We need to reshape the text and their frames to be in perspective with their position on the hill. Go to the top left corner, hold down Ctrl or Command as you click and move that corner inward. Now repeat it for the top right corner. And then press Enter or Return to accept it. Drag the text above the frame. Hide the base copy and click on the new layer icon. In this layer we're going to make a composite snapshot of the text and the frames without the background. This layer will ultimately become the shadows that the letters and the frames will cast on the hill. To do this press Control shift alt e or command shift option e on a Mac. Press Control or command as you click on this layer to call up its selection. Press the new layer icon and then press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill this selection with black. Now drag the layer beneath it into the trash since we won't be needing it anymore. We'll rename this layer Shadow. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it two pixels. Drag the shadow beneath the text in the frame and make the base copy visible. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up your Transform tool and go to Edit, Transform, and Skew. Since the sun is casting shadows to the right, we'll skew the top to the right as well. Press Enter or Return and then call up your Transform tool again. Go to the top of the Transform and drag it down to simulate the degree of the shadow. If you need to reposition it, click anywhere in the transform and move it. To accept it, press Enter or Return. The shadows need more variations to simulate the irregularities of the hill. Go to Filter, Distort, and Zigzag. Choose the style out from center, the amount is 64, and the ridges is 5. Click on the top layer. Let's make a composite snapshot of the entire image and place it on its own layer. To do this, press Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Drag the base copy below the composite snapshot. Click on the composite snapshot to make it active and then click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask. Press Z to call up your magnifier tool and magnify up your sign. Using the layer mask, we're going to hide the bottom of some of the structural frames and even hide the bottoms of some of the letters because that's what the hill would do due to its irregular contours, shrubbery, and rocks. Call up your brush tool and choose a soft brush. Make sure the opacity is at 100% and black is your foreground color. 
Brush over the bottoms of the frames to reveal the hill. We can always finesse this a little later. Let's give our text a little depth. Drag your text to the top and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it to make a selection. Go to the New Layer icon, press Ctrl or Command as you click on it to make a new layer below the active layer. Now press Alt or Option and Delete to fill the selection with black. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection and then Ctrl or Command T to call up the Transform tool. Go to a top corner, press Shift and drag in. To lower it, click on the down arrow on your keyboard. Press Enter or Return to accept it. I made a layer mask for this composite image and I'm now revealing the retouched hill under it. Have fun making your own billboard on one of the most famous billboard locations in the world. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs>